Oh, right off. Whoa. Uh-oh. There we go. So, hey, everyone. Welcome back to the next stream series. We are finally playing Mega Man X4. Um, the Mega Man X series has been, and still, actually, it still is, one of my top most favorite game franchises of all time. And specifically, Mega Man X4, uh, obviously the fourth in the series, was, quite literally speaking, the very first Mega Man game that I ever touched in my life. So, of course, this game has a personal... Uh, me it means something very special to me. And, like, it just, it just... None of the other games in the series can ever really compare... And I just, man, I, oh man, I'm kind of drawing on blanks of what to say here. I love this game so much. I love it so much. Um, it's what gave me my most favorite character in all video games, Zero. And, um, yeah, I'm just happy that they were able to bring it back once again for the Legacy Collection. So, yeah, we're going to be starting with Mega Man X4. We're not going to be playing any of the other X series. This is going to be a standalone series. And uh, if a lot of you recall, I posted a poll on a lot of social media on just no context, X or Zero, and Zero got all of the votes. And this is the very first game where you actually get to choose which character to play as. So in this case, we'll be playing the game as Zero. So without further ado, let's get starting here. Best opening ever. some lag here oh okay everything seems to be working well now sorry sir, for a moment it looked like things were going a little slow uh, there's our famous rival duo zero and colonel that is actually just his name colonel like, that's not a title with his name after, that that is his name. Oh man, God bless the company that animated this scene. Actually, hold on. Who did animate this? Okay, here we go. The FMV cutscenes in Mega Man X4 were produced by IG Port's subsidiary, um, Exabec. The game's musical st score was composed by... Oh, whoops, nope, don't want to go through that again. Exabec, what have they done? Oh, these guys did... Martian successor Nadesco, Love Hina, Shaman. These guys made Shaman King. Wow, he's actually made some show. Oh, dang it! Stop it. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that animation studio is pretty legit. So thank you, Exabec, wherever you guys may be nowadays, for making Mega Man X4. Okay. So let me just go in my options to make sure that the buttons are configured well. Okay, yeah, everything's all good. Game start. Okay, so like I said, the votes were tallied and zero won by quite a majority, so we're going to be playing the game as him. Ah, cutscene time. Now go, 
Destroy him. That's an order. What? Wait! Uh, uh. For those of you who don't know, that was Dr. Wily from the classic series. So yeah, Zero's kind of had a touchy past. Mavericks emerged at the po at the point five five six seven. They've occupied Sky Lagoon. Sky Lagoon is some kind of like floating city over another city. I don't know why they needed more city. This looks like Repliforce is doing. Repliforce? Okay, I'm on my way. Repliforce is like. They're like the Maverick Hunters, but they're more military-based, while the Maverick Hunters are more army, or more police-like. Oh, and, and we're playing it! Oh, this music. I... The whole rock aesthetic. The whole, like, uh... Whatever the style of music is, I... It fits X so well. Oh, nope, we're not dealing with this guy right now. We're just gonna go past him. Gotta get through here. Nice. Sweet hell. Oh crap, things are blown up. Dragoon? You're in the 14th unit. Why? This doesn't look good, Zero. That Maverick took out the power. What? Then the Sky Lagoon will come crashing into the ground. Yes, and destroy the entire city. We have to do something. It's too late. I must escape now. You best do the same, Zero. Damn. If the Sky Lagoon falls, it will be disastrous. There's no time. I'm going down. Yeah, so we just let the city get destroyed, and it got wasted. The carnage. It's horrible. Those Mavericks will pay for this. Not talking much. I'm just having a good time enjoying the music. I love this so much. Okay, I remember when I first got this game, this part would always kill me because I never got out of here fast enough, but now I know how to do it perfectly. Iris! Iris, what are you doing here? Are you okay? Zero, did you come to save me? Yes, hang on. A huge maverick appeared and... St stay here, Iris. I'll handle it. Is this, is this really one of Repla forces? I don't have a moment to spare. I have to defeat him or else. Okay, so we gotta fight this giant dragon maverick, and I can't remember what his name is, Grisian or something. And we just gotta get his chest right here. He goes down pretty easy. Oh, dang it. Down pretty easy. Oh, 
Oh, there's the guy. Zero. Long time no see. Because they made him Australian sounding in this game. Actually, I never thought he sounded Australian. I always thought he sounded like Jean-Claude Van Damme in this game. Long time no see. Colonel, what are you doing here? I've come to save my sister, Iris. Because of, yeah, because they have... Uh, Reploids have siblings. I only hope she's okay. She's fine. I just rescued her. Oh, thanks, Zero. I owe you one. Colonel, I have a question for you. Did your unit attack this place? What are you talking about? Rebel Force came here to help. We weren't involved in the attack. They suspect you've become a maverick. What? Disarm and come with me to HQ. I'm afraid I can't. The soldiers never drop their weapons. I won't do it. Not even for you, Zero. Then they'll think you're a maverick. So be it. The Rebel Force prefers war over dishonor and shame. Goodbye, Zero. Wait, Colonel, listen to me! If they just talked a little bit longer, we could have avoided this entire game. Damn, this isn't good, Colonel. They'll, they may decide the entire Repla Force is a group of mavericks. Yeah, because of the timing of everyone's arrival, everyone now thinks that Repla Force was the one that brought down Sky Lagoon and not the Maverick. Oh yeah, so I already replayed this game as X, but I'm going to be playing it as Zero now. Cutscene time! Brave soldiers of Repliforce, we have all been wrongfully judged as mavericks by the humans. We cannot suffer this indignity and live in disgrace. We will build our own nation of Reploids. But remember, this is neither about insurrection nor rebellion against our human creators. This is about our liberty and security. We must battle for our own individual rights and our own survival. Together, we will build our nation, a sanctuary for all Reploids, our own utopia. Let us forge onward towards a new golden era for the Repliforce. You see, that honestly doesn't sound like a bad idea. They just want a place to call their own. I too share the general sentiment. Take heed, we have no other choice. Let us fight valiantly, with courage and pride. Without fear, for we are the Repliforce. The most powerful army in history! Yeah! <laughs> the general has finally taken action. And now, my maverick hunters, what will you do? I'll be watching closely from here on out. <laughs> it's Sigma. He's in every game. And honestly, since this was the very first game where I ever got introduced to Sigma, to me, that will always be his definitive voice. Iris, what are you doing here? My brother Colonel started the coup. I know. Please don't fight against him. This must be some kind of mistake. They've, they've occupied several cities already. As a hunter, I must stop them. Zero, I must go now. Infiltrate enemy occupied jungle and destroy the weapon under construction. So that's Web Spider, Cyber Peacock. A bug has corrupted the network. Dive into cyberspace and exterminate it. The Repliforce ship has taken off Storm Owl. Pursue and blast it out of the air. Dragoon of the 14th unit is a traitor. Locate and bring him back to Hunter HQ. Repliforce decimated the city and left. Pursue them aboard a land chaser. The abandoned lab is now operational. Investigate and destroy the lab. Okay, so yeah, Jet Stingray and Split Mushroom. A military train is moving supplies. Cut off Rebel Force's supply route. So, Slash Beast. We've discovered a hidden snow base. Halt production of their new weapon. Uh, Frost Walrus. Okay, so now we just gotta figure out which one to do first. If I remember correctly, because at X I just kind of went at the order I want, but I, there actually is an order to go in. So if I remember correctly, we have to start with uh, Magma Dragoon. So we'll do him first. Nice little intro. He betrayed the irregular hunters and hid himself in a volcano. That is a translation error. Irregular was the Japanese name for Mavericks. So I guess they just forgot to change that into Maverick Hunter. So now we just gotta run through this volcano. Ow.
Man, it's all coming back to me. Like, I know I said I just played this as X, so I should remember everything, but playing it as Zero just feels different. Okay, we're already in part two. We're gonna, this is gonna be a quick game to get through. <laughs> ah, dang, there's something up there. Stop it. Stop hitting me. Oh, oh. Heart container. I could really use some health. Oh, thank you. Okay, we got some ride armor. Bosses. Zero, it's really you. Why did you betray us? Answer me, Dragoon. I have no answer for you, my friend. Dragoon! Let's see if I can take him out before my machine explodes. Oh, sweet! Okay, that's one down. I wanted to defeat you, then he appeared. He? Who? He told me he'd give me power, only if I worked for Repliforce. What? I couldn't refuse the offer. Sorry, Zero. Dragoon! Well, he's done. <laughs> Up and SM button on the ground. A powerful attack that burns enemy with flames. Okay, we're gonna save. Okay, so now... As with all Mega Man games, there is a special order you have to beat the bosses as you acquire abilities and inevitably get their weaknesses. So with this attack, if I remember correctly, its weakness, its power can be used both against um, Cyber Peacock and Frost Walrus. But the problem is I don't really know which one to go for. Ah, screw it. Let's do Frost Walrus. Yeah, this guy's big. He protects the secret weapon which lies inside the snow. Yes, thank you. That is his name.
get out there? And no. I will get an ability later that's basically a double jump. I guess that's when I can come back here. We're gonna try and get all of the collectibles so we can survive the final fights. I see an extra life up there. Give it to me. Thank you. Oh geez, that was close. I shouldn't have to tell you, but spikes is instant death in Mega Man games. Now ah, we need the double jump. That's an X tank. It gives me more lives. Uh, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna wait for this for this uh, ice ramp to. Well, maybe it, maybe it won't. Oh, now, now you choose to vanish. Boss time. Okay, we almost got him. Oh, that was easy. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Ready. And we just got to go through all these. I was hoping to get that item. That was like a special recharge tank for weapons. Bottomless pit? I feel like there was something else hidden around here. I just can't remember what.
right, sweet. Boss time. Yeah, this guy's big. What's that blonde kid up to? I don't have time for you, Junior. Hey, shut up and fight already. Oh, that does it. You're going down. Guy, this guy goes down pretty easy. You just gotta hit him with that one ability each time. Yeah, we're gonna get through this game pretty quickly. But honestly, I don't mind. I love this game so much. Classic back turn. And thumbs up. Sure, that's what I learned. Down is button while jumping. A dive attack effective against surface enemies. Save. Now this ability I know is good against uh, Jet Stingray. He destroyed the city and escaped to the sea. Jet Stingray. Now this level's pretty rad, but it also requires a lot of precision. Because this place has a lot of pits. Oh, dang it, I missed it! Sure. We're just gonna die. So I can get that heart container. I need it. Dang it, I did it again! I want that heart container! I refuse to give up! I know I wasted like two lives just for an item, but I want that item. It'll be so much easier to handle all of the final levels with it. Okay, now that one was an accident. Oh jeez, am I gonna waste all my lives because I'm dumb? I would do that. I just have I have zero lives left. Ah, oh, jeez, we are dumb. But I'm still gonna try and get that heart container. The worst that can happen is that I just restart the level. Okay, here it comes. Yes, of course. When I have no lives left. Part two. Ready. Oh, 
Ah, itch on my face. And I, and I need to focus. I got the sub tank. Okay, so the, here's the new ability that we got from Frost Walrus. Oh, that's much better. All right, sweet. Let's take this guy out. Arg, he's still after me. Enough already. We'll settle this now. Octopus, all he does is just shoot out little minions. Got him. Dash button while jumping. May be executed in the air. Nice! Alright, so... Now I'm actually kind of curious. What is the official... Is there a more official boss order to Mega Man X4? Mega Man X4 Boss Order. Interesting. Okay, so Frost Walrus was supposed to be first, then Jet Stingray, Web Spiders next. Protects the secret weapon of the jungle. By the way, if you notice, if you look at all of their little designs, they all got little military berets on, and I think that's actually kind of cute. famous little hidden path right here. If you play as Mega Man X, there's a capsule here to get a piece of new armor, but since we're playing as Zero, that's not there for us. 
But I think it's cool that they kept it there. Why oh, missed the timing on that? Ah, sweet! Jumping into enemy zero. something in case anyone's interested there is there is a remix soundtrack of Mega Man X music um, you just need to google Maverick Rising and you can find the whole album uh, it's some of the greatest remix music for video games that I've ever heard I love it to death Remember, it's called Maverick Rising. That's the name of the album. There's like four or five discs on it. With some, again, with pretty good remixes, so I recommend it. should be another little burnable section here with a heart container or a heart tank I think it's this one yeah always nice to have more health Spider time. Let's do it. Nice little entrance. Being subtle by that he's above us. Ah, Zero, I've been expecting you. Spider, you work for Repliforce? Yes, I lead a, re a renegade unit now. There's still time... There's still time. Call off the coup. Now I know where my loyalties lie. I love that little arm thing he does. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Oh, come on. Okay, this one I might actually die in. Do I have any energy in that tank of mine? I do! We'll use it. Grab, grab, grab. Here we go, here we go.
Hey, I got him! I had like one hit point left. This is awesome! Nice. Has some button on the ground, lighting it. All right, we got a stabbing attack. I've got a message from Repliforce. Zero, I'll be at the Memorial Hall. Be there. Don't go, Zero, don't fight him. This is a matter of personal pride now. There's no avoiding this, I must go. Pride, pride is so dumb. Cutscene time. I love these anime scenes. Colonel! What? I'm disappointed in you, Colonel. What do you think you're doing? It's not too late. Stop the coop now. Never. If that's your decision. Prepare yourself! This whole 90s anime aesthetic is my jam. I love it. I forgot her voice acting. Oh. Very well then. I'll spare your life for now. But next time, there will be no mercy. Zero, please don't fight with my brother. If you do, I'm afraid that one of you may end up. Someone must stop Repla Force. Zero! Ooh, that's a, that was always a... Oh, man. Oh, we get to save again, just for watching a cutscene. Who's the next person? Split Mushroom. Oh, jeez, this person. This will most likely be the last boss and then we'll end it for the night. He occupies the laboratory and will attack anyone who visits there. Or whoever visits there. So here's the new attack I got. We're on the ground and I press the button. Got a nice little stabbing lightning ability. So I got fire. I got all the elements. Oh, geez, this level is so jarring. All right, here we go. This place is a dump. Okay, let's see if I can remember how, how this guy goes to beat him at zero. Lure him to a platform. Whoa! 
Okay. Okay, we got one more. Nice. Well, I didn't think he'd go down that easy, but okay, I'll take it. I'm not missing out on any heart tanks. I always hated these little elevator sections because you never know when spikes are gonna pop out like that. And one wrong move and it's instant death. And I can't wall jump on this kind of, on these walls. Like, like I'm trying to do it right now, I can't. Also, if, it, if I get crushed between two platforms, that's also instant death. But it looks like we're done. <laughs> I love this little guy. You made it this far, I'm impressed. You're interested in a real challenge? Who's your commanding who's your commanding officer? Never mind that, it's time to fight! Oh this guy's not Rebel Force, he's an actual maverick. One more hit. Oh, that was easy. Oh, yeah. Mushroom's ability for zero again? With the correct timing, higher and further jumps are possible while airborne. Boom. Oh, we got our double jump. Um, I just saved over my save! Oh well, it's fine. I mean, I beat the game anyway. I've got no nothing else to prove. So anyway, thanks so much for joining the first stream of Mega Man X4. Uh, like always, this will be put up on YouTube, uh, hopefully sometime this evening, and just focus on my Twitter and my Instagram stories on when the next stream will be. So until then, guys, see you later.